Hello from Halifax. This is Joe with Joe to the World Creations, and today we're going to be making my simple baby blanket. This blanket is 39 inches by 47 inches, but you can make it bigger or smaller by increasing or decreasing the number of starting chains. What you'll need to create this blanket is your favorite size three yarn, which is light. I'm using Burnett Baby Sport, an economical big ball size. I'm also using a K slash 10 and a half hook, 6.5 millimeters, and you'll need scissors and a yarn needle. Everything you'll need to create this pattern is available in the video, but if you prefer to follow along written instructions, I'll leave links in the description to the free pattern, which is on my website, or you can purchase this two page print ready PDF. All right, let's get started. Okay, with my yarn and my K hook, here we go. We're gonna start with a slip knot. Make a loop, pull it through, pull tight, take the loop, put it in, and again, pull tight. Now we're gonna chain 117. I'm gonna start and then pause, and I'll see you back when we have 117 chains. And you'll see that because of the K hook, you are creating quite large chains, and that's good. We'll see you back when you have 117 completed. With our 117 chains completed, we are gonna be working into each chain. In the second chain from hook, we're gonna single crochet, then we're gonna double crochet in the following chain, then single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, all the way across. So in the second chain from hook, which is this one here, cause that's the first one. In the second chain, we're going to single crochet and then we're going to double crochet into the following chain. Then the next one, single crochet. And double crochet. Single crochet. And double crochet. We're going to do this all the way across. Go ahead and pause and I'll see you when you have a full row of single crochets and double crochets completed. Our row of single crochet, double crochet all the way across should now be completed and you should be ending this row with a double crochet. Now we're gonna chain one and turn. And then the very first stitch here which is the top of that last double crochet that you completed, we're gonna single crochet. And into the top of the last single crochet that you just completed, we're gonna double crochet. And in the following stitch, we're gonna single crochet. And then double crochet. single crochet and since we are double crocheting into a single crochet and then single crocheting into a double crochet it creates a really nice textured pattern and what I love about this is you're going to be able to see what stitches go where so it's quite easy to see that this see how this is much longer than this one so this was the double crochet so if you forget where you are okay that's the long stitch I'm gonna single crochet into that and that's the shorter one okay I need to double crochet into that or of course you can just look at what you've completed so far in the row so we're just gonna keep single crocheting and double crocheting all the way across once again All right, hit pause and then hit play again when you've completed the row. And now row two is completed. We should have once again ended with a double crochet stitch. So we're gonna chain one and turn. And we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna single crochet into the first stitch, double crochet into the next. And continue doing this all the way across. And that's the whole pattern. 
It's just single crochet, double crochet, all the way across each row. You're gonna keep doing this for approximately 90 rows or until your blanket measures around 35 inches. Or you can continue going for as long as you'd like. So continue working these rows until your desired length and then come back to the video and we'll start the border. I'll leave in the description a note of the exact time when I start the border so you can skip right to that and we can finish this blanket together. Thanks so much and we'll see you soon. So you've completed the size that you want your blanket to be. I'm just using a sample right now to make it a little easier to demonstrate the border. But your last row should end again with a double crochet. So we are going to chain one and turn. And in each stitch across, we're gonna single crochet. So we're gonna single crochet in each of the stitches across. And when we get to the end of this row, we are going to single crochet three times into the last stitch. It's the corner stitch. So let's do that together. As soon as we're done, single crocheting all across the row. I hope you've enjoyed making this blanket. It holds a very special place in my heart. I made it while I was pregnant with my second daughter and she's been wrapped up in it since she was a newborn. It's been my favorite blanket and I'm really excited to be sharing this pattern with you. Gosh, you'll have to excuse all the dog hair. It's just everywhere. <laughs> really noticeable on a pink with pink yarn. Okay, so now that we are at the corner stitch here, so it's the last stitch of the row, so this is where we are at, we are going to single crochet into this stitch three times. Two, three. Now that there's three single crochets in the corner stitch, we are going to be single crocheting all the way down the side of the blanket and creating single crochet, crochet stitches in each of the rows. So we're gonna go into this little stitch on the very end here and create a single crochet. And then onto the next row, single crochet. Now there's a bit of a bump here. If you can see that little bump, I'm gonna skip over that and crochet into each row after the bump. It's a little tricky because you're working into some chains, so sometimes you need to really get your, your hook in there. <laughs> and again, single crochet all the way down. So now that we've completed single crocheting all the way down this side, we are going to single crochet three times into the corner stitch. Now this is right where we started, but if for any reason your starting piece of yarn is on the other side because you've done an odd or even amount of rows, that's totally okay. So we're gonna single crochet three times into this corner stitch. And next, we are going to, after we remove more dog hair, <laughs> we're going to single crochet into each of the little gaps created by the chain stitch. I've tried single crocheting into the actual chain stitches, but I just find it leaves so much of a gap that I prefer to, at this point, single crochet into these gaps. So the first gap is actually from the three single crochet stitches we just did. So we'll skip over that and do one in the next gap. And then there, you see how there's another gap here? And we're just gonna single crochet. I just feel it tightens the, the gap a little bit more. And there's another chain gap. And we're just gonna single crochet all the way across the chain row. All right, we're nearing the end of this bottom 
And when we get to the corner, we're once again going to single crochet three times into the corner. Now we're going to be working our way up this row. I say up, even though I'm pointing down because this is actually how your blanket is. So you are in fact working up, but of course I have it positioned so that we're going down. And again, we're going to be creating single crochet stitches all along the sides here. And we're nearing the top here. Okay. Now that we're back at the very first stitch where we started, we're going to join with a slip stitch. We're going to chain one and turn. Now we are going to single crochet all the way across until we get to the very corner stitch, which is going to be the middle stitch of the three single crochet stitches we did in each corner. So into the middle stitch, we're going to crochet three times. So we're going to do that all the way around. So single crochet across, single crochet all the way across, And so here are the three single crochet stitches that we did from the previous row. And we are going to into the middle one crochet, single crochet three times. One, two, three, into the same stitch. Then single crochet all the way across until you get to the next corner and into that middle corner stitch, single crochet three times into that same stitch and same with the third corner. Then when you get back to the starting place, we're going to slip stitch, but that's where I'll pick back up. So go finish your round and we'll pick back up where we started. Now just completed the second row of single crochet all the way around, putting three single crochet stitches in each of the corners. Now to join I'm going to join with a slip stitch into the very first single crochet stitch that we made. Okay, pull that. <clears throat> now our slip stitch. We're going to chain, turn our work. We're going to do this a total of three more rows. So in each row, we're going to single crochet all the way across, put three single crochet stitches into the middle corner stitch, single crochet all the way down, and then again, single crochet three times into the middle corner stitch, single cro crochet across the bottom, put three stitches in the middle stitch, and then single crochet up, join with a slip stitch to where you started. We're going to do that for three more rows so that at the end you'll have a total of five single crochet border rows. So I'll see you once those rows are all completed. We now have five rows of single crochet stitches. To add shells to the border, first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that we have finished the fifth row, which I have not in this case. So I'm gonna slip stitch to finish the fifth row, slip stitch, chain one, and turn. And this is where we're gonna start adding shells. To add shells all the way around, the pattern goes like this. We skip a stitch, we slip stitch into the following stitch, we skip a stitch, and then we double crochet five times into the next stitch. Then we skip, slip stitch, skip, double crochet five times. And we're going to do that all the way across. So in the first stitch, we're skipping. In the second stitch, slip stitch skip the next stitch in the following double crochet five times. Two, three, four, five. 
and we're going to skip the next stitch and slip stitch into the stitch after that. We've slip stitched, so now we skip and double crochet five times into the following stitch. And you're going to do this all the way across. So go ahead, put on pause, and come back when you have completed the row and you're getting near to the end of the row, and we'll pick back up together. We're nearing the corner, and in the corner stitch, we are going to be double crocheting seven times into the very corner stitch. And as you approach the corner, you may not have the exact right amount of stitches to complete the pattern that we've done so far, and that is absolutely okay. I don't have the right amount of stitches. And so I'll demonstrate what we do in this situation is we just skip more than one stitches. And there's no exact science, so you just play around with it to make it work. But in this case, where I would normally skip just the next stitch, and then slip stitch in the following stitch, I'm gonna skip the next two stitches, slip stitch into this stitch, skip the next two slip stitches, and then double crochet seven times in my corner stitch. So you can skip more than one stitches as you're approaching the corner to make it work. So skip the next two in this situation, or if you have the right amount of stitches, you can follow the pattern uh, completely but I don't, so we're gonna make it work this way. So skip two stitches, slip stitch, skip two stitches, and double crochet seven times into the corner stitch. Three, four, five, six, And then we're gonna follow the pattern again, which is back to the regular pattern of skipping the next stitch, slip stitching in the following stitch, skipping the next stitch, double crocheting five times in the following stitch, and we're gonna do that all the way across. And again, when you get to the corners, there's flexibility, you skip more than one stitch if, if you need to, and it'll still turn out uh, quite beautifully. So we'll see you when you're all done the border. You should have just completed the corner stitch of seven double crochet stitches. And to finish the blanket, we're going to skip the following stitch and slip stitch into the next stitch. And now we're going to fasten off, which just means to cut your yarn and then weave in your loose ends and now you have a wonderful baby blanket thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed creating this pattern if you have any questions or feedback please contact me anytime if you like this pattern and this video I'd love if you could give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you so much and have a wonderful day